Brainstorming and sharing ideas is the funnest part of the creative process. We decided to skip the boring part of actually making stuff and just do the fun part. I'm your host, Tom Walma. I'm Brian Atkinson. I'm Amanda Vrije. And I'm C-Dub. And this is Creativity Wasted. My idea is I want to come out with a line of candles that range from a uh, gasoline scent to uh, lawn clippings to Newport 100 smelling candles. You know what I'm saying? Are, are these candles that smell terrible or are these candles with just very different scents than what we're finding in the Yankee candle section? Uh, they smell good to me. Okay. And that, that's all that matters. I'm making them. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I've always wanted a gasoline scented candle personally. I love the smell of gasoline. Sure. I can't get enough of it. I love a fragrance that has notes of gasoline. It's kind of awesome. I'll yeah, I love it. I think if you make a candle and infuse it with gasoline, light it and see <laughs> how it goes, get back to us. <laughs> All right, gotcha. You could <laughs> probably make a candle out of a Newport, and just like melt the candle <laughs> wax around the yeah. cigarette or something. Use There's it as the wick in the candle. But no, yeah, I think a Newport 100 smelling candle. It'd be very minty. Uh, it would smell like burnt plant matter a little bit, and it would smell like home to me. <laughs> so. You know what? It'd be really cool is to take that idea and on like. Christmas when you got the whole family, the whole family tree is staying over. Just after everybody goes to bed, you light up the natural gas one. Stay <laughs> 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 night. That'd be hilarious. I'd, like it would, yeah. It'd smell great. It'd smell wonderful. It'd be great. The fire department would come. It'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Was oh. that one of your ideas? Was natural gas? Did you mention yeah, that, you, Morgan? You came up with the natural gas. No, not it's me, the... Carl. Yeah. Well, you know. It's, kinda... it's the natural gas-flavored candle. <laughs> the kind of mind that comes up with the sound of mooses is, is sure yeah. to come up with something like natural gas. So, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think if you were going to do gasoline, if you went natural gas, I think then you've got the opportunity to go in, you know, like coal. Yeah. Uh, kerosene. Uh, rocket fuel, uh, um, How about anti tobacco? Uh, whale oil. I think you've got opportunities to get, you know, your traditional and old and banned different um, burning products, uh, fossil fuels and whatnot. But, but yeah, but I, I think we can all agree that nothing, nothing triggers a panic quite like the natural gas one. Yeah, That's for sure. Yeah, for definitely. sure. Right. Do you smell something? Do you guys smell something? I don't know. Am I dying? <laughs> yeah. Is this uh, house about to become a bomb? Yeah. Explosion. Or am I having a stroke? The whole family's yeah. about to die in a fiery explosion? Still sure. Not. I've been watching Six Feet Under, so you take the uh, the <laughs> remains of your loved one. Oh, God. <laughs> and Turn in, that into a candle. Turn that into a candle. <laughs> So oh. that you <laughs> you smell their rotting corpse as, no. as you burn the candle. That's candleception right there. Like. There it is. <laughs> I, I think I just gave a spoiler for a series from 20 years ago, but oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, this is a this is a this is a no shitter. Uh, way 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 back in the day, <laughs> I worked as a paramedic, and occasionally we'd get body calls. And you would take, you always had in your, your little jump kit a, a bottle of Vicks Vapor Rub. Sure. And you could spread that under your, your nostrils and it'd kind of kill that. You could hand that out with the whole, you know, decaying human remains candle. Oh, man. You could use these candles. Let's say you're on a, like a, not a date, but like a date night, Netflix and chill. It's not going well. <laughs> yeah. You want him to leave. Light one of these candles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Please Leave uh, collection. Yeah, I, like sure. I don't know. If Clear you light that gasoline one up, they might want to stay for more, yeah. dude. It might backfire on you. Yeah. Personally, I have been looking for a gasoline scented candle as a novelty item. Sure. You know? Clear the room with yesterday's chili. <laughs> there you go. That kind or of... like a Wendy's burp or something mm. like yep. that. Yeah, for sure. Burnt baked potato. 
uh <laughs> boys locker room junior high junior high <laughs> locker room honestly that wouldn't smell that bad because it just smell like x body spray like a lot I'm, of it Mess so much though. junior high before they figure out anything resembling deodorant or sprays or <laughs> or soap it's it's that unwashed the best boy yep there you go there you go or um, or socks <laughs> yeah just, sticky just, uh, use six weeks socks. of the same pair of socks candles there it is yeah depression yeah. hole yeah that's what i would call it <laughs> yeah just, like dirty clothes yeah, I mean, we're not talking, you know, like the bakery from your childhood or bookstore or uh, Ace Hardware or things like that. We're talking something that is, you know, to you, it smells great, but to other people, not so much. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. me, it's like, like, a core memory. And it's like... Yeah, you could you could get me with the, the lawn clippings, but the gasoline, no, I wouldn't want that. I'd be into it. I love the smell of gasoline. I'm about to be real. It's a great one. I know. I, like, I, want I, just, I was a kid, and I was like, "Don't smell that. It's not good for you." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, just killing brain cells sure. as I'm indulging. So, 15 years from now, when everybody's driving EVs, Morgan will have his gasoline scented candle in his car. Oh yeah, so, so he can still smell the gas. Yeah. Well, then it'll, it'll, it'll just be an room. air freshener that you clip to the heating duct. And so it's right there on the <laughs> yeah. vent. You got your phone clipped there. You got your your gasoline smell, uh, air freshener, all in just coming right out. So it wow. wouldn't be new car smell. It would be old car smell. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. See, <laughs> this is marketable. This works. <laughs> old car smell. Yeah. AKA nostalgia. Yeah. We can have like a leaded gasoline. Oh, on. now you're talking. Unleaded. <laughs> Uh, high octane shit like E85 or something. Yeah. You know? Diesel. Biodiesel. Diesel. Yeah. You get really yeah. specific, even like Roseburg, Oregon truck stop, 1982. Like, <laughs> yeah. That smells like in my head. Driving behind <laughs> or, a, a school bus that needs a tune up. <laughs> <laughs> or light this while watching Fast and the Furious at time <laughs> yeah, 12 right. minutes, 42 seconds. Okay. That's a good idea. Fucking okay. propane. I mean, I guess that goes hand in hand with natural gas, but propane Similar. smells fucking good yeah. too. Uh, we gonna get <laughs> some uh, propane and uh, propane accessories. <laughs> with that grill purchase you just made, you get this propane scented candle. There you go. There you go. Upselling. I I would get a candle that smells like uh, a grill, like barbecue grill. Oh, sure, sure. I would do charcoal, like, like old timey camping campground smell. King Kingsford. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kingsford and lighter fluid. That's what you want. <laughs> Childhood nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, I don't know. Another one that I thought of is like uh, you ever like see a house on fire before you go over there and you get a smell of like the vinyl siding burning. Hmm. It doesn't smell that bad, honestly. It's all right. <laughs> Man. I welcome that into my house. <laughs> you know, Morgan, when you say it doesn't smell that bad, I'm already <laughs> going down the road of, I don't think that your definition is the same as mine. I mean, and that's yeah, I okay. I brought a candle to the table. And my yeah. shit's a little bit different, you know? Yeah. But... <laughs> my cousin yeah. just had a little brush with a house fire he oh. during christmas uh he had a power strip below his fish tank and it started on fire and it blew up the water in the fish tank and it put it out oh, so wow it's Look just at that. Burnt. he comes home and it's like burnt in that one area around the fish tank but it, it put itself out and from nothing the fish tank water but it also smelled like uh fish and chips because you had the, the fried, fish, fried fish, fish. Uh, no, 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 definitely not. <laughs> well, I just thought yeah, something that... as horrible as fish death happened. That would be the first thing you guys would be talking about instead of just brushing over it like it's no big deal. The corpses of these poor fish. I wouldn't mourn for a fish dying. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just a psychopath. Uh, but, you're um... all bad people. Except no, 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 no. If, if you don't have to mourn for anything that you can flush down a toilet. 
Yes, you do. It had a face. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind it of. Had, what, had a face on each side. I mean, side. you can only see one eye at, this, at any given time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're quantifying what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're, we're not talking about flounders here. You can see both of their eyes. You They're know, legit. Talking. Don't eat them. Regular fish. <laughs> Don't murder them. But yeah, regular fish. Fish smelling candles. That wouldn't be for bad. For the Japanese people. Because they love they love everything. Alligators. Seafood Alligators you can flush down the toilet. Octopus. Come on. No. <laughs> yeah, they're soulless creatures. They have nothing going on except for death and destruction. That's all they're yeah. around for, really. You guys are terrible, terrible people. Uh, <laughs> well, Carl didn't say anything. I didn't. Yeah. I'm just I was, I was thinking, you know, if you can get like a hundred people. And you can have them, you know, just pass around a, a baggie and everybody takes the lint out of their, their belly buttons. Huh? And you make it, let me finish, please. Okay, so they're going to not get gross? Okay. This is important. It's going to get gross. <laughs> this is important. I don't see any other option here. No. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, I mean, and you throw that into a jar, throw some wax on it and stuff. Not only do you have something that's a, a candle that smells like that but you know those little hairs as it burns down they kind of spark and stuff it's ooh, <laughs> kind of cool on a life. sparking candle it Keep would them be live through their belly button lint there was a guy like 20 years ago you know early internet stuff that he was he'd been collecting his his uh, belly button lint for years and saving it in jars and he had like this jar was this year, and this jar was the next year. Ugh. That's the kind of person that murders people. That's like collecting toenails of your victims. Like that's not. That's like. Yeah, but it, it was his own belly button. Lid. I know, it wasn't but like... that's like one step away from. Uh huh. Wait, you got a broken. problem, Amanda? With how much belly button <laughs> lid do you guys get? I don't think I ever get belly button. I don't button either. Not lid. to brag. Yeah. I just checked. I don't. I, just, I, I, don't I definitely don't get enough to fill a fucking jar full of it every right. year for sure. <laughs> Have <laughs> you tried? No, no not, yet. not no. yet. You're. Uh, like, I don't. Is it from like sweaters or something? Or like, like wool? Like, or like the fuzzy inside of a of sweatshirt. Material. That's the prime. Uh, creator of belly button lens. So if you're wearing sweatshirts, yeah. yeah. Hey, if you're not, guys, you're not going to get a lot. I've, my first, the first set that I did was about smoking weed and whatnot. And I was talking about whether the, the weed that you can get at a dispensary right now is any more potent than the weed my brother and I smoked in 1972. And I said, you, a, a little test you could do would be to take, you know, pass a baggie around this entire room, have everybody take the lint out of their belly buttons, throw that into a bong and light it. And you would find that that, that was a hundred times more powerful than the shit we had in 1972. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to find out. Okay. It's kind of true. And then you take all that belly button lint and you put it into a candle. Yes, absolutely. Yep. And uh, the, the older, but very attractive woman who is uh, burning the candle is also solving crimes. Obviously. And having sex with anonymous strangers. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And I forgot what the other idea is. It, it was the flavored mucus, and I, and oh. I'm I'm not doing callbacks to my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh heavens! Any uh, shows or anything you guys want to plug? I've got the uh, whole month of January off because I'm recovering from back surgery, but uh, I go back to it. February of of opening for Adam Minnick. He's uh, an Ohio-based comic, and I'm doing shows in uh, in Holland, and then Central Indiana, and then Northwest Ohio. Uh, uh, kind of different weekends opening for him. A week from Wednesday is the Detroit to LA finals at Ridley's. Very fun. Oh, you're in that. Awesome. Yeah. So, want to get there. February 17th, Bob Fredericks is having a show in Kalamazoo about, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, because it's going to be around Valentine's Day. So it's like shitty relationship mm -hmm. stories. Ha, yep. ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that's so, what we're doing down in uh, Kokomo, Indiana on the 17th. 
Okay, cool. So yeah. I get to tell my worst. I have to figure out what disaster to go on about, but it'll be fine. Excellent. Else I'll be at can... River City Saloon the, I guess this fucking Wednesday. Not tomorrow, but next day. Like the 10th? <laughs> yeah. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast.